if this stands, this could change the way that processed food companies are allowed to market their products. And this matters to you and me because we're the consumers. So if this goes through, prepare to see some interesting changes in the very near future. And perhaps keep an eye out to see if this does even tank some commonly consumed products. Okay, so this was just published in the Washington Post earlier this week. And a good friend of mine sent it to me and I had to share it with you because I find this so fascinating. So the FDA is changing regulations on how food companies are allowed to market their products. They're redefining the word healthy and how it can be used on packaging. And big surprise, the processed food companies are doing everything they can to fight against it. And there's several things you need to be aware of if this goes through, because this could directly impact your health. So the main things that the FDA is going to crack down on are several fold. Products will only be allowed to be labeled as healthy if they contain a meaningful amount of food from one of several main food groups, such as fruits, vegetables, or dairy. There's also going to be specific limits to how much saturated fat, sodium, and sugar can be in any food that is labeled as healthy. And another big surprise here, food companies are struggling and fighting the most against the added sugar limit. Little recognized fact here, a lot of these foods that are marketed to us as healthy alternatives because they have less calories in them, they often have a bunch of added sugar. See, fats taste good but fats also have more calories per gram than carbohydrates do. So food companies, they remove fats from their products and market them to us as healthy because they have less total calories in them, like fat-free yogurt and fat-free cottage cheese and low-fat salad dressing. And then they pump a bunch of sugar into these products so that they don't taste like complete crap. And get this, this is so good. I had to read this several times. The food companies have spoken out about these new sugar thresholds by saying, we believe the FDA's restrictive approach to added sugars is unwarranted and outside their authority given the lack of scientific consensus on the relationship between sugar intake and diet-related disease. I swear... I must be getting dumber every single day. Here I thought there was plenty of scientific evidence that sugar is related to obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, even cancer. But here's what you should pay close attention to because there are some good key takeaways from this article. And by the way, I have linked this article in the description of this video for anyone who wants to read it. But look, the American Heart Association approves of the FDA's new healthy definition because it focuses more on nutrient-dense foods. In other words, unprocessed foods. And they state that the healthy claim should not appear on heavily processed, non-nutrient-dense foods that have been manipulated to meet the new criteria. Sound familiar? So this is a good thing, in my opinion. But there's one more thing I want y'all to be aware of. I didn't actually catch this until I read it the second time. Check this out. One of the major brand conglomerates issued this statement. It is our strong conviction that if the FDA's approval is adopted in its current form, companies like Conagra will have every incentive to shift their innovation efforts away from products labeled as healthy and towards less healthy options. Now, if I'm reading this correctly, this right here is a promise and a threat. If the FDA comes down on these already unhealthy products and makes it so these companies can no longer falsely market them as healthy anymore, these companies plan to make their products even more unhealthy for us. Aren't we lucky? I told you these companies care nothing about our health or our well-being. It's all about profit. And if they can't market healthy foods, 
they're going to make their products more addictive and more unhealthy in order to keep their profit margins up. Think about that. This stuff is no joke, guys. Good for the FDA, and I really do hope this goes through. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. What surprises you the most about this? Is this going to change how you shop for and purchase food? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you check out the full article if you're interested in reading more about this. There are some other interesting points that are worth checking out. Please subscribe if you found this valuable and share this video with your family and friends. And if you're looking for more information on similar topics, be sure to check this video out next.